Colin, a member of our Jerusalem team, shares some of the difficulties that Nualim face when arriving in Israel and how Ebenezer are able to help. This is Ali and you. Last year, over 75,000 new Alim immigrated to Israel from 95 different countries. Each year, Israeli society grows richer with the coming together of many cultures, backgrounds and languages. Whether South American, Eastern European or Asian, all new immigrants are united by their Jewish identity and their ancestral right to return home. As we heard from Tina in the last episode, much of the Israeli bureaucracy can be difficult to navigate, especially when you don't understand the language. Whilst learning Hebrew is usually offered as a standard part of klita at absorption centers, for various reasons, some new olim aren't able to participate in these programs or to stay in these centers. Our team in Israel are able to offer some support to these individuals by helping to fill out forms, go with them to appointments and provide some financial help where needed. Let's hear from Colin, who's a member of our Jerusalem team. If you ask me what it is that drives Ebenezer, it's the importance and the, the centrality to God's heart that the Jewish pe people come back to Israel. Once people have made it to Israel, we get the challenge in trying to help people to uh, get the grounding and the, the planting in the land that God promises so many times in his word that that's what he's gonna do. We're privileged to be helping God in that process. A land that they've come to from a different culture, they probably haven't got fluency in the language, they aren't aware the processes, the bureaucratic processes that they need to go through in order to do many of the basics of life. What New Orleans needs so much is a friend, a friend who knows the system, a friend who, who knows their language and is willing to hold their hand. One of the shocks uh, for New Orleans coming to live in Israel for the first time is, is often the cost of living and uh, it, is, it is expensive. One of the things that we can do is to give them these food cards that can be used at the Supersal uh, chain of supermarkets. It's great when we have the opportunity to meet people and to see the sense of appreciation. Since the beginning of the war between Russia and Ukraine, February last year. We have been receiving increasing numbers of applications for help from new Olim and refugees from those nations. And with limited resources, we want to be sure, as far as we can be, that we are giving to the people who are most needy. We were advised not long ago, you really need to meet with Lena Jarovsky who is the advisor to the Mayor of Jerusalem for New Olim and absorption. So in our new office, just a stone's throw from City Hall, we went to see her. We're here in Safra Square outside the City Hall of Jerusalem where Lena's office is situated. From the first time we met her, it was clear to us uh, how aware she is of the needs of the New Orleans, many of whom have come with nothing. They've dropped everything and fled from Ukraine or from Russia with nothing. So for us to be able to bring something for warm blankets for the winter and pillows for, for children's beds, boxes of clothing, a bicycle, all of these things have made a huge difference to the lives of few of the people that Lena has put us in contact with. Hi, my name's Elena. I'm the Alia and Absorption Advisor 
to the mayor of Jerusalem. We are now in the storehouse that we opened shortly after the start of the war, last February. A large number of arrivals, people from both Ukraine and Russia, have visited this place. I'm very grateful to your fund for your contribution. I already know who will be provided with these much needed blankets. Most of the newcomers move into empty flats. It's very cold here now, and therefore these blankets will help some families to keep both their souls and their bodies warm. What else can I say? I just want to emphasize once again that we deeply appreciate your assistance. There are sick children or sick elderly parents amongst the families arriving here. They are very, very thankful for the help that they receive from you. It's hard to imagine starting life afresh in a new country, how it is to find new friends, a new job and an apartment. However, these struggles are greatly increased for those who've been fleeing from war. They bring only what they can carry in a bag, whatever could be packed in a few rushed moments. And they therefore have great need for clothing, bedding, food and finance. It is a huge honour to meet the needs of some of these alim in Israel, a work which is only possible because of the support of many nations. The prophet Isaiah spoke prophetically of the wealth of the nations being brought to Israel and foreigners rebuilding her walls. Whilst we wait for the complete fulfilment of this word, it is a privilege to partner with God by helping his people. In Isaiah 60, it says, foreigners will rebuild your walls and their kings will serve you. Although I struck you in anger, yet in favor, I will show you mercy. Your gates will always stand open. They will never be shut day or night so that the wealth of the nations may be brought into you with their kings being led on procession. Visit our website if you would like to know more about Ebenezer's vision and Alia. And thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to Ebenezer Operation Exodus YouTube channel to stay updated on the latest Alia reports.